Hello everybody, this is Daniel Lloyd from London and Zurich and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Direct Debits portal to add a new customer as well as add a group of customers at the same time using an import. So this may all be new to you, but this is the first page you see when you log into our new Direct Debits portal. And if you want to start adding a new customer, all you do is go up to the top here where it says Direct Debits, click that. On the left here, you click Customers that brings up the drop down menu. And from here you click add a new customer. And so on this page you'll see all the information you need to input to add a brand new customer from which you can start taking direct debits. So the information with the red asterisk means it's mandatory. If it doesn't have a red asterisk, you don't have to add it in straight away and you can come back in later and edit it, but the information with the asterisk must be completed correctly the first time, otherwise you won't be able to edit it afterwards. So to show you what that looks like, I'm going to show you one that I've created earlier. So here we have the random DDI reference number that I've added in. This can be anything you want as long as it's 10 characters or less. Uh, then you've got the customer account name. Here I've added a fake company name, but that can also be the name of the person that you're going to be working with if you're not working with companies. Um, here you put the customer's bank information, so sort code, account number and debit name. And then you have the contact information, so the contact name, telephone, mobile, email. And here you have a new feature called the postcode lookup. So what you can do here is you can post, uh, paste a postcode and then click find your address. I'm just going to use a random one here. And then you go to select your address and you can, and it brings up all of the addresses automatically that are there to use. So this is just a random address. So then I'm going to click add customer once all that information is filled out. And there you go, that customer has now been added. And if I want to see that customer is listed out, all I do is go to list customers. And you see here they're added as the most recent entry which is great. From here, we can start doing things like adding in collection schedules, collections, and see all the history with the account, but that's for another video. Okay, so I've shown you how to add an individual customer. Now I'm going to show you how to add a group of customers all in one go. So you may have 10, 15, 100 customers that you want to add, but you don't want to go through and add them all individually in the way I've shown you just before. So what you can do instead is add them all to a CSV file and upload them in one go onto our system. So how do you go about doing that? What you do is you'd go to the upload customers section and then what you do is you can pull off a file format that has all of the columns already laid out the way that it needs to be uploaded into the portal. So let's download that and open it up and it's going to look something like this when you download it. So here are the columns that you need to fill in. You've got the six to 10 digit reference number. Bear in mind, this has to be between six and 10 digits, but and it also has to be a unique reference number in order for this to work. You've then got the name of the company, the name of the customer, the four different lines of the address, postcode, phone number, email address, direct debit name, sort code, and account number. So here's one I've filled in already. So you see I've added a different line for each of the companies that I want to add in. So when you want to start adding this in and you're happy with it, you just need to get rid of any information that is not a line of company information that's going to be added into the portal. So now I'm going to save that as Update that. I'm going to close it down. And now I'm going to go back into the portal to the upload customers section. And I'm going to click here to choose a file, which is this one here. And you see it's pulled up the name of the file in question, so you know that you've got the right one. And then all you do is you click upload customers. And here we say, 
or here we see that it's accepted the information that we've put through and the file has been loaded, which is fantastic. So now I can see that those customers have been added into my system by just clicking here to list customers. And we have the name of all three of those companies added there, which is great. Thanks very much for watching this demo video on our new portal. If you need more help and support, be sure to check out the help section of our portal. To access it, just click help up at the top section and you'll find a number of resources available to help you. You can view our frequently asked questions here, which have a number of questions and answers that are typically asked. We also have a direct debit portal user guide, which you can download by clicking this link here. It explains in good detail a number of different operations that you may like to carry out on the portal and how to go about doing them, as well as the various nuances associated with that. Lastly, you can also post a question anytime you like to our customer services team by clicking this button in the bottom right corner and you'll get a same day response for any inquiries. Thanks very much. Enjoy using our portal.